Once upon a time, in the bustling city of Bird, there lived a mysterious creature that resided in every house. This creature, known as a finch, had the sole purpose of keeping peace and harmony within the households. However, one finch named Finnick was unlike the rest, he preferred living without humans and following his own rules. One fateful day, a family with their daughter Christine arrived in the city of Bird. The family had moved there to pursue their dreams of becoming actors and artists. In a bustling studio, a young man named JB worked as a janitor. He had a burning passion for acting, which he couldn't contain. Despite being a lowly janitor, he seized the opportunity to enter the shooting scene, which infuriated the director. JB's desire to perform led him to pretend to be a criminal, but it only resulted in laughter from the crew. Unfortunately, things went from bad to worse for JB. He got entangled in wires and accidentally damaged the studio, which led to him being fired from his job. At the same time, Christine's parents arrived at the studio to collect the movie script and keys to their new home in the city of Bird. They were oblivious to the fact that their arrival had upset Finnick, the mischievous finch who had been living in the house. As the morning sun rose over the city of Bird, Christine headed to the local donut shop for breakfast. There, she met a mischievous boy named Mark, who tried to frighten her by claiming that her family's new home was haunted. But Christine dismissed his claims, knowing that everything could be explained logically. In her haste to leave, Christine accidentally left her book behind at the donut shop. Meanwhile, back at the house, Finnick was growing increasingly frustrated with Christine's family's activities. Determined to play a prank on Christine, he didn't expect her to catch him. Christine showed incredible courage and fearlessly confronted Finnick, even though he was supposed to be invisible. To Finnick's surprise, Christine could see him, thanks to accidentally plucking some of his fur. Finnick was not pleased with Christine's actions and warned her that if she didn't return his fur, she would be in danger. Suddenly, Finnick's friends appeared out of nowhere, causing Christine to freeze in shock. Thinking on his feet, Finnick quickly ushered his friends away to a Finch meeting, hoping to keep Christine's ability to see them a secret. As Christine learned more about the lives of the Finches and how they interacted with humans, she became increasingly fascinated by their world. She observed as they discussed their human charges and their responsibilities to keep them safe and happy. During the meeting, Christine saw how the other finches teased Muffin, who was seen as incompetent in his duties. Muffin's human charge was none other than JB, the janitor who had tried and failed to act in front of the camera. Despite the teasing, Muffin stood up for his human in front of everyone. That evening, Christine made a bracelet out of Finnick's fur, a memento of her encounter with the mischievous Finch. The next morning, Mark returned her book and asked about her experience living in the supposedly haunted house. However, Finnick, who was still upset about Mark's earlier comments, spilled juice on Mark's shirt, causing him to storm out in anger. Finnick later scolded Christine for bringing humans into their home. He explained that he had once lived with a human family before, but the chaos they caused had made him wary of living with humans again. In a fit of rage, Finnick scared Christine's family away from the house. He even yelled at a lawnmower and accidentally dragged Christine along with him. They ended up in a moving truck, and when it stopped at a checkpoint, they got off. Christine then managed to calm Finnick down. Meanwhile, the truck continued on its journey and ended up at a burning post. What surprised them was that the cargo was not what they expected, but instead, it was corn kernels. Christine had an eerie encounter with a mysterious creature before the catastrophic lava popcorn explosion wreaked havoc in the city of Bird. The explosion flooded the entire city and the media was buzzing with news of the disaster. A male reporter covering the incident live received a chilling letter warning of an impending unseen terror. In the midst of chaos, Christine stepped forward and claimed to have evidence of the culprit responsible for the disaster. She showed a photo on her cell phone to the reporter, but he failed to see anything. Undeterred, Christine persisted and sought help from Finnick. She was convinced that Finch was behind the disaster and she was determined to prove it. Finnick had a condition for helping Christine catch the culprit, she had to return his fur before they succeeded. However, Christine refused to comply and insisted that Finnick help her, leaving him with no choice but to follow her lead. The next morning, Christine and Finnick scoured the area for any signs of the truck they had seen the day before. Despite their efforts, they found no evidence. Frustrated, Christine ordered Finnick to use his sense of smell. Suddenly, a street sweeper collided with Finnick, sending him tumbling to the ground and almost exposing him to the other finches. To avoid being caught, Finnick pretended to be a dog. After a while, Finnick and Christine spotted the truck they had been chasing. They pursued it, but to their surprise, the truck stopped at a railroad control office where an unseen finch manipulated the train tracks. The truck then drove off, leaving Finnick and Christine behind and causing them to miss the train. Determined to catch the culprit, they boarded the next available train. Once they reached the train car, they continued their journey on foot, hoping to get closer to the truck. However, they lost sight of it after it made a sudden turn. 
While waiting to arrive at the next train station, Christine opened up to Finnick about her friends, but she forgot to mention that she had recently moved house. Finnick, who overheard the conversation, promised never to forget her. Meanwhile, the railroad security guards were alarmed to discover that two trains were headed for a collision. They quickly contacted the drivers and averted disaster, evacuating the passengers and halting the trains. However, shortly after, the wind power plant shut down unexpectedly, and a tornado filled with feathers came hurtling towards Finnick and Christine. The culprit behind the chaos was none other than the mysterious Finch, who had captured the security guards and manipulated the wind power to create the destructive tornado. Fortunately, Finnick and Christine found refuge in a car caught in the tornado, and Christine took charge, driving the car to safety at the wind power plant office. Once there, they released the staff and shut down the electricity, causing the tornado to dissipate. Christine's mother was awestruck by the natural phenomenon unfolding before her eyes, as if she were watching a scene from a movie. It triggered a memory for Christine, who realized that there was someone responsible for all these strange events. To confirm her suspicion, Christine and Finnick snuck into the movie studio to search the director's room for clues on the next scene. Their investigation led them to a Ferris wheel, which was the setting for the next scene. They raced to the location to prevent any potential disaster. However, they had to flee the director's room quickly when they heard the director approaching. As they were running away, they stumbled upon the very truck they had been searching for. Upon investigating, Christine was trapped inside the truck, unable to escape. To her surprise, JB warmly welcomed Christine into his home and struck up a conversation. It wasn't long before Christine revealed that JB's pet finch had caused quite a stir in the city. However, instead of denying any involvement, JB admitted to collaborating with his finch. Feeling trapped, Christine looked for a way out and spotted an open door. She cleverly distracted the two by asking JB to tell her a story. He shared how he had always been ridiculed for his inability to play a villain. And similarly, his pet Muffin had been bullied by his peers. This is why Muffin had asked JB to team up and promised him a feather in return. JB was initially afraid when Muffin suggested they team up as supervillains. But as time passed, JB became more comfortable with the idea and they began planning their revenge. Meanwhile, Finnick had arrived at JB's house and peered through the keyhole to see Christine attempting to escape through an open door. However, this door led to the prison of JB's pet Finch whose fur had been shaved off to create a costume that made JB invisible. Out of nowhere, Finnick appeared through the air ducts. But before they could make a move, JB caught both Finnick and Christine. Finnick was taken away in a truck, while Christine was rendered helpless by her finch feather bracelet, unable to see where Finnick had gone. JB's plan was to use the Ferris wheel to wreak havoc on Bird City, but Muffin was having second thoughts and tried to stop him. In a fit of rage, JB shaved Muffin's hair and continued with his plan, taking Finnick with him in the truck. Christine found herself trapped, with the window blocked and no apparent way out. But she refused to give up and used a clever tactic. She threw ice cream at Finch's prison, causing the pets to go wild and break the exit door. Meanwhile, Finnick managed to thwart JB's attempt to shave his fur. However, JB retaliated by setting fire to the back of the truck and fleeing to the front. In a desperate bid to escape, Finnick broke the window and threw Muffin out, but he couldn't fit through the small opening. Instead, he had to repeatedly hit the door until he finally managed to break free. Christine arrived at an old building where the finches were gathered, even though she couldn't see them. She shared JB and Muffin's plan to destroy the city and asked for the finches' help to stop it. Fortunately, the finch leader gave her a feather that enabled her to see the finches, and they were willing to join forces with her. They quickly flocked to City Park, where JB had arrived with Finnick. Finnick managed to land at the spot where JB had set the explosive bomb and turned off the fuse. However, JB relit the fuse, and a fight ensued between him and Finnick. Finnick eventually threw a match at JB, causing his fur to burn and revealing his presence to the humans. Nonetheless, JB continued with his evil plan and started rolling the Ferris wheel, with Finnick still trapped on it. As luck would have it, Christine arrived just in time to save Finnick from certain doom on the rolling Ferris wheel. As the supervillain's plan to destroy the city was foiled by the Finches, the ride continued to spin out of control. The Finches worked together to divert its path, but their efforts were not enough to prevent the ride from causing damage. When the ride reached the bridge, it began to break apart and posed a threat to the orange cat below. But Finnick, always ready for action, jumped into a crane car and averted disaster. He then rescued Christine, who was still trapped in the Ferris wheel. However, the ride was not finished wreaking havoc, and it headed straight for Christine's parents' filming location. Fortunately, Christine's parents sprung into action, and with their help, Christine was saved from harm's way. Finally, justice was served, and JB was apprehended by the police for his role in the dastardly plan. Towards the end of the movie, Christine fulfills her promise to return Chief Finch's feather to Finnick.
But instead of taking it back, Finnick replaces it with his own feather bracelet, symbolizing the newfound friendship between the finches and humans. This allows Finnick and Christine to play together and enjoy each other's company. As Christine spends time with her parents, she is approached by the movie's manager with the news that their film has become a huge success. They will now have enough money to renovate their once haunted house. Little do they know, the ghost they thought haunted their house is actually Finnick who has been keeping watch and having conversations with humans. The moral lesson from this animation is to not judge others based on their reputation or past actions, as even mischievous people can teach us valuable lessons. Keeping an open mind is essential to learning from others.